we got two men trying to climb up some other way. Now listen, we keep the door locked here, the windows locked now. But no doubt there's been people that have come around and try to climb up an open door. They couldn't get in unless they break the window lock. And you know if they do that, why somebody might see them and take a walk for them. But that's paid for it. But I'm going to say tonight, you can't take a ladder and break a window lock and climb into heaven. They just want the way you can get there. And Jesus said, I'm the way. The truth and the light, and no man will come unto me except my Father, which sent me draw him. And how is he going to be drawn? It's by the preached word of God and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost that goes out and tickles that man's heart and makes him realize that he is a lost and dying sinner. Then I'd like to read just a little bit. This is only scripture. Where the, the, what, how what is God's name? God's name is the one with I am. But you know, that was still he spoke to Moses. But when he come to us, did, what did he tell us a woman to well? He said, God is a spirit. And he seeketh such to worship him in the spirit and truth. And that's the only way we've got to worship God is in the spirit. And Paul said, I beseech you, brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your body, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God with your reasonable service. And tonight I'm glad that we have got a God that's big enough to keep us. And you ain't Amen. tomorrow. I'm glad that we have got a God that's able enough, that's big enough for you to begin to do something. If you just listen to the small voice of God, he'll say, not do that. And he'll sure lead you the right way. We disobey our parents. We disobey our wives. We disobey the preachers. But that's one person we can't disobey and get along. Because when you rebel against God and turn his word down, then he's going to chastise you some way. And you know, there's people being sick today. There's a the loved one that's sick. The, the children is being called away. And why is that? Because of disobedience. Because they were rebelled against God. And God said, I'll get glory out of man some way. God said, I'll get glory out of man some way. And it may be that. It may just be on that account because somebody has backslid on God. You know that's a big word and a lot of people don't like to hear it, but it's the truth. The Bible says it. And I can say it too. I can be like Brother Burst was the other day when he's on his program. People make fun of him. And they go around and preach other things and the, 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 what the Bible will back up. He called them names and he said the Bible will call them that and said I can call them too. And he said, I don't know what the awesome they're bastards and they're not fun. And if you've been praying by the grace of God, a real true Christian, you're going to lead some by the way that God said lead them. You're going to give them the word of God, the true way, the good way. And whenever you do, when you get to give them the word of God through the Spirit, it's not going to hurt them, but it might burn them in the heart to make them realize, brother kid, that they are lost, lost and going down to devil's hell. And that place, the Bible says, is forever. The smoke of the torment will descend up forever and forever. But them that's been saved by the grace of God, just think about it. Whenever they are sleeping in the grave, they tell the voice of God will speak to them, and they'll come close to the glorified body. Like right. Jesus Christ right. had. They'll put on clothes that will never yes. be defiled. The they'll put on spotless garments, brother kid. Right. And listen, to now that you've been saved by the grace of God, are you a spotless town in the eyes of God? That's so yes. 